Team coverage continues tonight with how they're honoring the memory of the youngest victim, Keegan Klontz, a 12 year old who loved playing football and his dad loved watching him play. Jennifer Barrasso talked to one of Keegan's coaches and shows us how his teammates honored Keegan tonight. The Plum Midget Football Association president teared up talking about Keegan Klontz. His mom, he tells me, met with the team before the scrimmage. Here's how they honored him. Emotional reminders of a life lost too soon. Keegan was number 40. The jersey, number 40 on the 40 yard line, and the initials, KC. The Plum Midget Football Association crushed after the sudden loss of player Keegan Klontz. His coach, Drew Harchick, is the president of the PMFA. It's devastating. Um, I've coached Keegan for several years now, and uh, his, his dad was on the sidelines every single practice, every single game, Casey, and uh, it, it's just a tremendous loss. Keegan Klontz would have been starting junior high school and playing football for the Plum Mustangs youth team, but the 12-year-old and his dad, Casey, and four others were killed in Saturday's home explosion. Before tonight's scrimmage, Harchick says Keegan's mom, Jennifer, and other family members met with the team. I think it was some healing for uh, Jen, Jennifer, Keegan's mom. It was a big step for her. We have a lot of people that showed up tonight um, to uh, embrace the family, the Klontz family that came down tonight. And uh, just an uh, outpouring of support from the community, the football organization, it, it's been unbelievable. The team's first official game was supposed to happen last Saturday, but was canceled after the explosion. They play this Saturday at West Mifflin. There was a tremendous amount of grief but the boys all pulled it together. Once we got their helmets on, got them out on the field, they were able to uh, get football in mind. Not far from the football field, we saw Plum students collecting money for the victims. It is a tragedy, and I'm sure they're they're really feeling they're they're feeling the the loss of a fellow teammate. And it, it is good what they're doing over there, you know, remembering him. Back at the football field, many are trying to cope and leaning on each other. We told them we're here for them as much as they're here for us as coaches. We need them as much as we they need us. And the Pittsburgh Steelers invited Plum's youth team to training camp tomorrow. They'll be watching from the sidelines. In Plum, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.